Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto, and today I want to make an ending of Beefy. This is just something that keeps bothering me. I talked to admins about it. They said that the CLM will be performing better, but they are just clearly not. They are clearly not. So <clears throat> something I need to mention is when Bitcoin goes down, you have almost all your money in Bitcoin. If you like, I'm talking about the pair here with the WBTC USDTC. Um, I'm talking about this pair right here. So, what's happening is this you can see actually this bar moves along. So, when Bitcoin went down a lot, all my money was in Bitcoin, everything. So, it went down. And when it starts to recover, you have no money in Bitcoin, everything is in dollars. So it doesn't go up. So it seems like the way that this pair is set up, it, it will only go down forever. And I have two pretty good examples here. This one's only a week old. Um, not a very good example, to be honest. Uh, but the Bitcoin is a perfect example of why I'm going to leave uh, Beefy and end the series. So if you click on the pool over here, and click on the date, it will show you exactly e even to the second on, on when you invested. So this was like half past four in the morning, my time. Oh, it's UTC. It's actually UTC, not GMT plus two. So it's UTC time, which is uh, England time. Um, half past four in the morning. So by me, it was plus two hours. So it would have been 6.30 in the morning, my time. So if I open this up here and I go to Bitcoin, obviously, and I say one year, because it's literally just a, a few days older than 30, right? It's 34 days old. So the 8th of July, um, I think we can only see that one day uh, as an example which is around here somewhere so six seven eight eight of july there it is it's that little lip right there right you can see that the bitcoin price was fifty five thousand eight hundred. that is when we invested into this uh, project and look how much it went up it went to 68 it went down back to 56 and is back higher again, $5,000 higher than where we invested. And if I go back to Beefy, you'll see that we are in a negative $17. Not just that, we're in a negative 17 and our $40 we generated as yield is included in the price of this. So we are so much down that it's almost unrecoverable right because we made forty dollars the price is higher and we are still in a negative so unfortunately it doesn't matter how much yield you'll get the price will just keep going lower which means that at the end of the day you're not going to be able to roi on this not to mention this is like i think we did like 12 13 parts the amount of money we're down is absolutely insane, right? We should be close to like $700 in total. We're like not even close to that. Um, so yeah, there's definitely something wrong. And I think it's this layer three thing. Uh, since they added layer three uh, liquidity providing, it's just the worst thing. Um, it's it's no longer 50-50 investing. And whatever happens, it will it will it won't stick to 50-50. So it will only go down, it will never go up. And if you don't believe me, we can maybe go into a pool that is like older, that's like pretty old. We can maybe do like ETH USDT as an example. And we could say um price. We'll make it one year old. Look at this. I mean, it's a clear indication. This going up right here 
it almost never goes up. It will always just go down. We can go into any, literally any pool, any pool right here. You can say Pepe W ETH, right? It will be the same thing. So price. Uh, one year. So yeah, it went up for a bit. But I can promise you, let's see. Uh, let's see over here. 12th of Jill, July. Let's just take this price as an example. 12th of July. Um, Pepe. I should have just typed it in here. 12th of July. Uh, so there's 12th July. So 12th July, it was, we can just say 89. Okay, it was 89. And now it's at 80. So it's 9 cents down. Or... It's 0 0.05 zeros, right? Five zeros, and then nine cents down from, from this one to this one. So it's a little bit harder to tell, but like the price never gets followed exactly to the T. And that is the problem that I have with Beefy. And it's, it's old, it's everything has to do with layer three investing. So I lost in total roughly $200 already in this platform. And I'm just going to call it quits. So if you guys are wondering that, okay, what am I, what are, what am I going to do from round forward? I mean, dude, like there's nothing better at the moment. There's nothing better at this very moment than staking it on, on BetFury. BetFury gives you single asset staking for 27%. Ooh, I had to sneeze there. Sorry. Betfury gives you a 27% APR. It's APR. For staking it for one year. And if you, if you want to early withdraw, you lose a half a percent. It's literally nothing. And it's not just stable coins. It's everything. It's Bitcoin. It's Ethereum. It's TRX, BNB. I don't know what our ETH is, but even that is there. And all of this, you can stake up to $10,000. Now, someone like me that is like, you know, maybe earning an extra 100 or 200 uh, that I could maybe do, you know, stuff with. It's going to take me a very long time to fill it up. And once this is filled up, I'll start looking for another project that we could actually do this in. But at this moment, I honestly do think it's the best place. Then what I'm going to do is I'm, once we get every $10, so you can see over here, we have $10 worth of B BFG. I'm going to take this BFG and I'm going to send it to Starbets. Something I discovered on Starbets, someone asked me earlier, can you make videos about Starbets? Because I'm ranking and I'm, you know, still gambling. Something that I've noticed in Starbets, and I, this is a video I didn't really want to make because if too many people know about it, then they, you know, then it won't become profitable anymore. But something I noticed about Starbets is I'm losing less money per day than what I'm getting paid on the event every day. I'm making more money in total. Let's say I spend I spend four USD worth of Bitcoin, but then I get like six dollars every day or five dollars every day. So I make a profit of like one dollar and it sounds stupid, right? At this moment, it is by far the best way for me to sell my Bitcoin. So then I get dollars back. Now, unfortunately, uh, this dollars right here, you can see we're standing on 104. Uh, these, this dollars I need to live. So this is my, my monthly income will come from this number right here. If I get enough money generated from Bitcoin itself, or from, sorry, uh, from my YouTube channel itself, I will then start to bring this money back. I'll take this money back to, uh, to Betfury, and I would stake it in USD 
you, whatever pool. Like, it doesn't really matter which pool you go for, just to earn the interest. So what I'll then do is take the interest once I get it in BFG, I will then sell that to Bitcoin, and I would send the Bitcoin across again to Starbits. I would gamble that in, I would make more money than what I gambled in, and I will take this money back again to Betfury. That is the ultimate goal that I want to do, because I honestly think this is the best way for me to approach crypto right now. Um, and this is the most profitable way I can find. So I'm selling my Bitcoin at a profit, and I'm going to use this profit to stake again in Betfury. And that's going to help, uh, you know, help each other grow bo both portfolios at the same time. Because doing this as well, I get more uh, star, which will also lead to more, um, more daily income, which again means that I'll have to invest less uh, to, keep, to keep this uh, platform rolling, if that makes sense. So that is the ultimate goal from round four that I'm going to do. I just wanted to make a video like once a month for you guys about like Bet Fury and how I work on a, a retirement fund. But unfortunately, Beefy is just not working. If Beefy is working for you, just let me know in the comment section. Um, but if something recovers more than $5,000 and you're still in the negative, you're still in the negative after it recovered, including your yield, that to me is just a blatant scam. Honestly, it's not working. And I don't know who it is to blame. It could be Uniswap. It could be Beefy itself. Or it could just be layer 3 liquidity providing that is just not working. Because some, if, if it recovers, it's supposed to recover. So if we didn't get a yield, we would have been minus... I don't know, like $57? What? But Bitcoin went up. Bitcoin went $5,000 up. How are you in the negative? It just doesn't make sense. And they promised me that the CLM pool will be so much better than the Gamma pool, but it's not. So unfortunately, I just don't want to test any longer. It's been a long time since I made a video uh, about Beefy and like, you know, having that story covered. But this is just not working for me. So I'm going to use those two platforms. I'm going to keep my eye open for something else that I might, you know, trickle into and, uh, you know, to, to create a um, another different... Um, as a retirement fund, you know... Um, Maybe I'll find a different project or a different platform that does the old way of liquidity providing because, yeah, yeah, I just, I just don't know what this is. It's just mind-blowing to me that if th something goes up, and the other one is USDT, if something goes up by $5,000, that you're in pretty much a $57 negative because it's deceiving right here. We earned $40 by yielding right? By, by having it staked on the platform. But then we're still down. So yeah, it's, it's just something is not working. I don't know what is what it is that's not working. And to be honest, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna struggle with this anymore to try and figure out what is happening here. And you know, because like, whether I know why this is happening or not, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, if something goes up by $5,000, or I don't even know how much percent that would be um, in total, and you're still in negative, that just means that something is wrong, either by Beefy, by Uniswap, or by just liquidity providing, uh, layer 3 liquidity providing. Something is not working, and I'm, I'm not going to do more research to figure out why this is happening. I've never made profit with Beefy. I've never made profit with Beefy. We were a little bit in a uh, surplus last week or so. But since the event went down and up again, uh, everything is just broken. Uh, it only went down, didn't recover up. And I'm, yeah, I'm just tired. So I don't know when I'm going to make videos again, guys, because like that was 
the one thing that I could post like once a month. People ask me to do videos about Starbeds. I don't know what to talk about because I covered everything already on Starbeds. The way to earn, the way to, um, you know, the best methods to gamble. I, I've covered everything, everything already on this platform. There's nothing more to talk about. And then Beefy, I showed you guys also how to stake. It's very simple. You just click on UCT, subscribe. It's going to ask you how much you want to do. Make sure you are in the top one. If you're in the bottom one, it's boosted, meaning you have to gamble. So be in the top one. You can stake up to $10,000 in every single pool. So $10,000 worth of UCT, $10,000 worth of Bitcoin. And I can show you here. I can still stake $8,800 worth of Bitcoin on this platform on the fixed term. And if you're done with that, you can actually go to the one below that if you want to as well. You can stake up to $15,000. They count as separate pools. Separate. You get 20% APR then for staking it for 180 days. So you can pretty much stake your an infinite amount of Bitcoin. You can stake your like two Bitcoin maybe in total. Um, in, not even counting flexible. So flexible is only worth for $250 because that's 11%. If you go to 500, you get 8% and anything higher than 500 is 6%. So I would say if you just want to like put Bitcoin in, even at this percentage right here, 6%, it is still better than any other platform that I found. Even if you don't, if, even if you just put it in flexible, a, a, a decent example that we can get here is uh, if we go to vaults, we say single asset staking and we say BTC, there's no BTC here, uh, but USDT, for example, has the same outcome. 12% APY, APY, 7% APY. So if we go back to here, click on flexible. So it's that is the other one 13%? Yeah, it's 13%. So if you stake more than If you stake more than $500, then the other website's better. But this is, you know, it's f up to $500. And then you could have done this as well, the 30% or the 30-day staking, which is 13%, which is better already. Then you have 15%, $25,000 in total. You have 17%, $20,000 in total. 20, uh, 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 and then the max one, 27%, $10,000 in total. So you can invest here so much money before the, the highest one on, on USDT. Why is it LP? Whatever. Before the highest one on Arbitrum is worth even investing in. Do you understand like how much that is? Like how much different that is? So that's what I'm saying, like, there's no other platform that does it this way. And I honestly do think it's just the best thing to do for me right now is just own this over here, um, stake as much as I can, move over my profit to, uh, to star bets or my interest, and then sell it, you know, like, get Bitcoin across, sell it to USDT, use this as an income for now. But eventually, if my... YouTube channel just wakes up and we can actually earn from it again and I make enough money from it. This money is then going to go back to uh, BitFury and then it's going to be staked again. So that I will stake this and then whatever I earn again from interest, I bring back here, sell it at a profit, uh, get the USDT back from, from, you know, ranking in the event and then just loop like that the best way I possibly can. And at the end of the day, it, it, it has to become profitable. So, but yeah, guys, that's just a video I wanted to make. Um, this is what I'm going to do for round four. I will then personally just, you know, sell all of this, move it to BetFury, stake it in there. Because like, this is deceiving. These numbers is fake. 
Like honestly, it's fake. Um, you don't you don't get eighty percent. You get eighty percent, but the the thing keeps going down, and never recovers. And I'm I'm just very tired of like figuring out why. I'm not gonna go talk to admins again. Uh, so let me know in the comment section you have if you have any success with BFE. because I used to have back in the day. Um when it was layer one or layer two staking with liquidity providing. But all these platforms now have layer three liquidity staking and all of it is just going down. Whether it's Gamma, whether it's uh, CLM, it doesn't matter. It just goes down and it never recovers. And if it does recover, it's by a very small margin um, because all the money lays in a, the other pool when it goes up, but in the in the right one when it goes down, and meaning that it only goes down big numbers and recovers very little if it does. So I'm going to move out of this project. I, I honestly think this is just a scam. Uh, but just let me know if you have any success with Beefy or with any pools inside Beefy other than single asset staking, right? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here, guys. Sorry for us ending another series. Um, I just explained to you exactly what I'm going to do. And it's going to be a, an extremely long time for me to build up the portfolio this way. Because $10,000 in every pool, that's going to take long just in itself. And if I want to get more, I can get into 180 days and stake more there. Um, and that's even double the amount. So it's going to be a lot of money that it has to get shuffled around. But Beefy has been here for a very... Oh, sorry, not Beefy. Um, um, uh, Betfury has been here for a very long time. So they've, they've proven themselves, you know, uh, trustworthy. So I'm going to just do that. I'm going to build up a portfolio then within um, Betfury. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.